The UN Human Rights Council called on Japan to atone sincerely for the sexual enslavement of Korean women by its military during World War II. Tokyo responded by saying it will look closely at the recommendation, but its human rights envoy says he personally thinks his country has nothing to be ashamed of. Cho Sang-min has the full story. The UN Human Rights Council has urged Japan to sincerely apologize and pay compensation to Korean women who were forced into sexual slavery in Japanese military brothels during World War II. Japan was also told to add fair and accurate historical facts regarding the issue to its national education curriculum and to include the stories of the so-called comfort women. Japan's wartime sexual slavery was brought up for review at the request of South Korea and China. The UN body made its recommendations in Geneva this week after conducting its periodic review of UN member states' human rights records. The UN's Universal Periodic Review Working Group conducts its review every five years. In reaction to the Council's recommendations, the Japanese government said Friday it will look into the content and deal with it appropriately. Japan's Kyodo News Agency reported that Japan's ambassador in charge of human rights, Yoshiumi Okamura, told Japanese reporters after the meeting that Japan will review and look at the recommendations, but also said Japan has nothing to be ashamed of. Meanwhile, Japan's chief cabinet secretary, Yoshihide Suga, during a news conference on Friday, brought up the landmark agreement on the comfort women issue struck by Seoul and Tokyo in 2015. He said Japan should do more to get other nations to understand that from Japan's point of view, the issue has been resolved finally and irreversibly, and that the 2015 deal still stands. Cho Sung-min, Arirang News.